it's Anna and I can't wait to show you guys all of the different projects I've been working on today. This is my home office. So I have fabric pieces here. Um, this is gingham fabric that I do for Moore's Mill monograms, pattern books, miscellaneous, more patterns, these beautiful Ikea Alex drawer units are wonderful. And my sewing desk. Lots of room for my serger and my sewing machine. Our tile floor is really messed up. Like the tile is chipping out as well as the grout. So this rug really helps hold it all together. <laughs> Hopefully I can change the floor soon. There's my air compressor and my staple guns, my paint sprayers, my ironing board because one of the keys to being a good seamstress is ironing. Um, some dresses I'm working on for a seamstress, um, a local business owner. And then um, my sweet boy's footprints when they were born. Uh, that reminds me why I work and why I hustle because I want to provide for them. And then the date that my husband and I got married. I just finished sewing a little pair of pants and two dresses. And now I'm about to put this quilt together. This is a t-shirt quilt with batting and the back. And um, I need to sew the three layers together. So I'm going to spread it out on my table and pin the layers together and then take it to my machine to sew them. So I was working on sewing the layers of this quilt together, but I ran out of thread. So I asked him to go on a thread run to Walmart for me. And I also was getting frustrated with it because sewing quilt layers together is just exhausting uh, physically, emotionally. It's, it's a hard job. So I'm taking a break from that and I'm hemming this beautiful bridesmaid's dress. I already cut the extra length off and now I'm just sewing the new hem in both this um, see-through material and then after that the, um, the underdress part. So um, I'll probably take a break and go swing on my new sky curve swing for a while outside after this dress is done because I just needed a break from the quilt. It'll be lovely when it's done, but they are really hard to sew, especially in my machine because I don't have like a long arm sewing machine, which make quilting easier. Um, I usually only make quilts that are throw size or crib size because of that. But, you know, if someone's willing to pay me a reasonable wage to sew a quilt together, I'll do it. So that was extremely disappointing and unsatisfying. I took a break from the quilt, which was um, just frustrating me to work on the bridesmaid dress hemming of the length, that navy gown right there. And um, it was extremely excruciating and difficult. I just, I had to like keep changing my needle size and the tension of my feed dogs and presser foot and the tension of the needle and clean out my bobbin. I had to take my bobbin out of my machine and clean out all the lint and uh, that took me way longer to do than it should have and it was very frustrating. So I definitely need a break from sewing right now before I can start working on the quilt again because I'm just, yeah. I think I'm gonna go do like a thrift store haul run and take some stuff to my booth at Angel's because I need a break from this office and this sewing. I picked this up on my thrift store shopping this afternoon. This beautiful tray. So I'm gonna clean it and paint it and distress it. And it'll be ready for sale. And then I also got some outfits. So I got these two for my baby Llewellyn. He's not a baby anymore. He's always worn Bubbles and um, John Johns. So this year he's gonna be three. So I buying him shirts and shorts makes me a little sad that he's a big boy now. And then I picked up this graphic t-shirt for myself and this beautiful sheer blouse to wear with like a tank and a beautiful like gold tan sweater cardigan and I love this. This 
Look at the texture on this. This is totally a type three dressing your truth style. The gold, the color, this color green, and then all this textured quilt stitching. And it's asymmetrical, which is totally type three. Look at that. Awesome piece. Can't wait to wear that stuff. Today I picked up these two pieces. I got this really beautiful chair and I'm going to reupholster that. And one of my friends gave me this ottoman. I'm really excited about recovering this with a new fabric. Say hi, Emmett. Hi, Emmett. <laughs> I'm so excited about my friend slash client's master bedroom. This King upholstered headboard just got delivered by UPS. I have two wood matching desks in those boxes. And then also for her room, I'm using these two chests as nightstands so they'll have ample storage for knickknacks and clothing and these will be the desk chairs. Uh, can't wait to show you guys uh, the finished result in a couple weeks. A couple of weeks ago my friend and I started working on this bathroom renovation. We removed all the wallpaper in only four hours. We first ripped off the first layer with a spatula and a sharp edge and then we used a spray bottle with just water and wet down the under layer of the water the wallpaper and then we simply um, just scraped it off with a with a sharp knife and it just came off like butter it was extremely easy to do We're still waiting on light bulbs for that chandelier. It takes G9s, which are special. But look at the transformation of this bathroom. Hey, Emmett. Hi. Hello. I'm Ira. You want to take All right, be quiet while I do video. Okay, so we still want to work on this floor. We're going to do a peel and stick vinyl, and then we're going to grout it so it looks like real tile. And the doors have been painted for this vanity, and we're going to attach them and put new knobs on them. Um, we put in this paper towel rack, this uh, Lucite, so that we could put two paper towel rolls on it. Uh, I mean, two toilet paper rolls. And then um, painted this vanity white. We're still figuring out ele the electrical because this vanity light stays on and it doesn't turn off. So we got to figure out the switches. Hopefully we can troubleshoot that today. And we added a door stop right here. These are only $2 at Home Depot and it keeps the door from punching a hole in the wall. And we added these um, is this is just like a piece of one by four painted and we drilled it into studs and then added all of these hooks and this is a beautiful Laura Ashley uh, shower curtain see how pretty that texture is it's a very pale uh, pink it's really pretty and I can't wait to see this chandelier all lit up so then we just got some scrap wood from the shed um, so that we could save money and cut this and drilled it together. And then right here, this is drilled into a stud and there were no other studs um, behind this. So this one is drilled into an anchor and it's really secure. So we've got some um, cute sea seashells up here with a candle. And then on this one, just some necessities for all of the girls that use this bathroom. This was the ultimate redecorate a bathroom on a budget. The shelves above the toilet were free because we used scrap wood and paint that we already had on hand. The vanity painting was free because we already had the paint. The knobs for the um, vanity doors were I think four dollars total. The vanity light was only twelve. The chandelier was only about 28. The shower curtain I had on hand, so it was free. And the hooks, we have six hooks that cost, I believe, a total of maybe 
and we already had the scrap wood we already had the shower curtain rod we already had the gray paint because uh, it was left over from a bedroom painting job so yeah um, this whole project cost under ninety dollars so this morning I spent time at my friend's house um, where we finished the bathroom renovation and now I'm back to working on this quilt I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess um, batting around the whole perimeter and go ahead and fold over the excess fabric over the side and sew the edge. So I have finished the quilt. Half of the squares I sewed around the perimeter. And then in every square, <clears throat> I sewed a little line in the center. And I did this because the batting in the quilt will shrink unevenly with the fabric if you don't have stitching about every four to six inches apart. So having those little lines sewn in the centers of each square should help prevent uneven shrinking um, and the binding was just the back turned over and sewn down if you're really enjoying watching my vlogs please take the time to subscribe to my youtube channel and also come check out my website at ardentoasis.com the link will be below in my description and also come check me out on instagram at ardentoasis